One of the biggest flaws of the automobile industry is the veil of secrecy related to the problems with cars. And just last week, we told you that Takata, the maker of those faulty airbags in millions of vehicles, appeared willing to pay $14,000 a day in fines rather than hand over documents that could leave it facing even more fines. Seven on your side, investigator Josie Sturman explains the state law being proposed by a Montgomery County lawmaker to give dealers the protections they need to disclose critical safety information. Right now, manufacturers collect information about problems and report them to the feds, but a bill proposed right here in Annapolis would make sure you know about problems when the car manufacturers know, not years later when a recall finally happens. Laura Christian will never get her daughter back, but the smiling teenager whose picture she carries can be a warning for others. Is that the kind of information you feel like could have saved your daughter? I know it was. I know that this information, we would have had been, had been able to fix Amber's car. We, you know, it would have saved hundreds of lives. 16-year-old Marylander Amber Rose was killed in a 2005 car accident. Seven years later, the same make and model car she was driving was part of a massive GM recall because of problems with its ignition switch. She'll never go to college. She'll never have a husband. She'll never have children and all because of a hidden safety defect. A proposed Maryland law Christian testified about could change that. Sponsors say it's designed to give consumers more information about safety problems before they rise to the level of a recall, which can take years. And the way to fix that is disclosure, sunshine. Sunshine is good for everybody. D.C. area car dealer Jack Fitzgerald says the bills would let dealers talk about safety issues long before there's a recall. He says they often know about problems before then because of internal service bulletins they can't disclose to you. Consumers need to know about things that affect their car. Bill opponents say this is a federal issue and that safety information should come from one source, the manufacturers. You can't have 20,000 car dealers giving them conflicting information about what they think they know. There there was no vote on this issue today, and it could be weeks before whether we know these proposals will move forward. In Annapolis, Josie Sturman, ABC 7 News. All right, Josie, thank you.